Okay, so trigonometry, intermediate tier, and it is on the, the B grade, so the top end of intermediate tier. Now, trigonometry is one of those topics where, when it comes to the end of year 11, this is the, the main topic that I get asked about. I get, say, can you help me with this? I'm really struggling. And there's just a few follow a few steps. It might seem a bit alien to a few people, but if we just follow the steps, then we definitely got a better chance of getting the correct answer. So, here's our right angle triangle. Now, when you see a right angle triangle, it can either be Pythagoras, trigonometry, or even area of a triangle. Now, you can see here, there are, there's an angle, I've got a long side, and then I've got an X here, okay? This is screaming trigonometry at me, for the simple fact of, I need to use one side and an angle to calculate a missing side. Okay, if it was Pythagoras, it would give me two sides and to work out the third side. But not only that angle there has given us a bit of a clue that it's trigonometry. So, first things first, we need to label the sides. Now, I'm going to put a little step-by-step -step guide here. First thing is to label sides. Now, the first letter I'm going to use is the letter H, okay, which stands for the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is the longest side. I'm putting brackets here, longest. Okay, now out of these three sides, the longest one is this one here. Okay, the way that also you could use to help you, look at where the right angle is pointing towards. Okay, hypotenuse is the longest side. Our next side we're going to label is going to be this one here. Okay, I'm going to use an O because it's opposite the angle that's been given to us. Okay, so O is for opposite. I'm going to put here opposite. I'm going to put here in brackets angle, just to remind you that's what it's opposite of, opposite the angle. And then the last one then is A, which is adjacent to the angle, so next to the angle. So the A stands for adjacent, and I label it in that order, okay, hypotenuse, opposite, and then adjacent. Right, now that I've got those labelled, I now need to circle what I've been given. I've been given a value for the hypotenuse, but I need to work out the adjacent, okay. So I circle what I've been given, what I've got, and circle what I need. So circle... Circle what we need. So that's what we've, we've got. Okay, we've got the H value of eight, and we need the the adjacent value. Okay, third step is this nine-letter word, which we associate with trigonometry to help us identify which one we need to use and what calculator buttons we need to use. So. Different ways to remember this now. They could have silly old Hillary Clinton always hated Trump over America. We could have silly old Harry caught a herring trawling off America. There are various other ones. Those are the two I tend to use a bit more in school, but obviously I'm sure you can think of something there that can help you remember, or you might just remember as soft cat toe. So I've got a H and an A. Now, the one I'm going to use here, out of these three separate ones I've got here, I'm going to use the middle one. And the reason why I'm going to use the middle one, because it has an A and a H in it. I've got no values or no X's for O, so therefore I can't use the first one and I can't use the last one. So it has to be that middle one. Now, we should have seen these triangles before, where you've got the speed equals distance over time triangles. Even in science, you would have seen them. So I'm going to use that previous information, that previous knowledge we've got, to help us with this trigonometry question. So, if I want to find the value of A, then A equals, let's use this triangle, if I cover the A, we've got C and H next to each other, which means we multiply them. So A equals C times H. 
Now, we know H is H, but the C is new to us. I've got S, C and T. Now, these three letters correspond to three buttons on our calculator. Now, S stands for sine. It looks like sin, but we pronounce it as sine. C stands for cos or cosine, but you see the button on the calculator. And T is tan. Now, these three buttons here all go with the angles. Okay, so I'm going to put a little cloud around those, but I'm also going to say that these are used with the angles. I'm just going to pop that there. So, they go with the angles, so I've got C times H, so C stands for cos, goes with my angle of 36, close the bracket afterwards, times by the hypotenuse, which is 8. And that is what goes into the calculator. So, cos 36, close the bracket, times it by 8, I then got 6.472135, blah, blah, blah. We are going to round this to one decimal place. So I've got 6.5 centimetres. So going back to my steps, we use this, so then we use substitution to find solution. So we label the sides, circle what we need and what we've got, Sokotoa, then use obviously the triangle. If we wanted the H, it would be A over C, so A divided by C. But this time we wanted the adjacent, so therefore it's C times H. And then use substitution to find the solution. Right, so hopefully you've jotted that down. And now we're going to follow these four steps to answer a few more questions. Here's another one. So, hopefully you've got your notes in front of you. To label the sides. Hypotenuse is the one the right angle is pointing towards, opposite the angle, and adjacent. Just going to write this ready. Circle what we've got, circle what we need. This time it's O and A. Out of my three triangles, you can now see the one that's got O and A in it is the last one. So, I'm trying to calculate the A. So, A equals, if I cover the A, O is on top of T. So, therefore, it's O divided by T. So, I'm going to write down that formula there. I can now use my substitution. O is 7. T, remember our notes, T stands for tan. Tan, oh, the angle goes with tan, which is 44. And that is what goes into our calculator. So then I've got, use a fraction button, 7, press down to go to the denominator, tan 44, close the bracket, equals 7.2487. Let's round it to one decimal place. 7.2 centimetres to one decimal place. Obviously, the examiner would tell you on the question of how to round it. These today, I'm going to look at one decimal place. But be careful what the examiner asks for. Label the sides. Soak it over. Circle what we need and what we've got. Substitution. Solve. Right. This one looks a little bit different because we're now going to use our trigonometry um, skills we've got so far to calculate an angle. Now, some of you might want to stop the video now and practice some of those, or some of you might have a worksheet ready and it's got some of these questions and you're unsure of what to do. Using the following, the, the previous steps we've looked at, hypotenuse, opposite, adjacent, Silly old Harry, caught a herring trawling off America. Let's do some circling. Well, normally we circle what we've got and what we need. However, we've been given two pieces of information. 
we're going to use that to select which triangle to use, O and H. So it has to be the first one. Right, so I've got O and H. Now, we know that sine, cos and tan go with the angle of which it does. So therefore, sine x equals O over H. However, we don't want one. We don't want sine x, we just want x. Okay, and now think of algebra equations. To eliminate something, we have to use the inverse operation. Now, the inverse of sine is sine negative 1. Now, to find sine negative 1 in our calculators, we press shift and then sine, and it clearly states it there for you. So x equals sine negative 1 opposite over the hypotenuse. Now the opposite was 4, hypotenuse was 7. Now that may look complicated, but we just pop it into our calculator. 4 over 7, press right, close the bracket, make sure you press right so it goes across, 34.8 degrees. Okay, this time I used a different symbol instead of x. Please don't freak out, it's just something that the examiners use. It's a little symbol called theta, which means unknown angle. So, label aside, hypotenuse, opposite, adjacent, ciliar narrowing, corte narrowing, tall North America, A and O, got to be this one here. So, to calculate the angle, I've got tan, we'll use a symbol this time, theta, equals O over A, therefore, Theta equals tan negative 1, O is 7, A is 6. Pop that in your calculator. So shift tan, fraction button, 7 over 6, press right to close the bracket, equals 49.4 degrees. So one decimal place. So those are the skills, follow the steps every single time. A bit of practice and you'll find things get a little bit easier. But a little tip for you, you'll notice when you're calculating the angle, it's always gonna be negative one and it'll always be a fraction. So if you get to this stage and you're not sure if it's time to divide, remember what's on top. If it's O over H, it's O divided by H. If it's on the same level, therefore you have to multiply. Use the steps, answer a few questions, once you're confident, have a go at applying that knowledge to numeracy style questions. That will show us how much you really understand. Obviously, you need to have a decent calculator. Make sure it's a Casio scientific one. Um, I like the one that's got the nice fraction button, so you can clearly state up this, clearly see the fraction on the screen. This one we tend to use for A level, but there is the normal one that you're used to using, um, where obviously the fraction button looks like a fraction and it's a, a Casio FX83 or an 85. Hope that helps.